Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a geometry puzzle that I really like. So we do have a square with side length 2 and a circle with radius r is inscribed in a circular segment of a circle or it should say semicircle. With radius 5 as shown, the base of the circular segment is parallel to the diameter find r. So we do have a semicircle and then a segment, circular segment is basically drawn and then in that region, we do inscribe a square and a circle. So we're supposed to find the radius of the blue circle, in other words. At this point, if you want, pause the video or continue to watch. All right, let's get started. Now, what am I going to do? As always, we'll be making some connections. Let's go. All right, so first step, I'm going to go ahead and make this connection here, which is going to help me a lot. And then, of course, I'd like to connect one of the vertices, right? That should also help me because this is going to give me what? A right triangle. Beautiful. So now let's take a look at this one. I know that the square comes with side length two. So this should be a two and this should be a one because this is a midpoint because of symmetry. Okay. For obvious reasons, we know that the uh, radius for the semicircle is five. So this is five, the hypotenuse. But I don't know this part. I don't know of the height. Uh, so let's call this H. Again, it's an unknown. But guess what? We can find it. How do we find it? Let's go ahead and write an equation for that one. I get 2 plus H squared plus 1 squared, which is 1, is equal to 5 squared. And that gives me 25. Awesome. Now, you don't have to expand this because this is a perfect square, which is perfect. And I can just directly solve it. Let's go ahead and solve this one. And then we'll come back and make other connections. So this gives me 2 plus h squared is 24. So if I square it both sides, obviously, I'm going to be going with uh, uh, positive solutions, right? So that's going to be 2 root 6. And from here, h happens to be 2 root 6 minus 2. Awesome. So we know now the height of the triangle. If you add the 2, that's going to be the height. Beautiful. Now let's make more connections. Let's change the color here. Maybe green. Okay. Awesome. Now. Let's go ahead and make a crucial connection here. And that's going to look like uh, this. We need to connect the centers, right? That's super important. Okay, awesome. That's going to give us something real nice. Okay. So since this is R and the radius of the semicircle is 5, this is going to be 5 minus R here, which is the diagonal length. But that's not good enough for me. I need to make more connections. So let's go ahead and uh, make some more connections here, like this one. I want to connect these. And then I also want to drop a perpendicular so that I can take advantage of the Pythagorean theorem, right? Which is super important, in these problems. Okay. So let's see what we got here. So this is a right triangle, right? Let's go ahead and shade it to show you what, what I'm talking about. Okay. So now we do know that this is R and this is R. Okay. Now, the height was called h. Let's call that h for now. We already know the value of h. But what about the base? Okay. The base of this right triangle that I just shaded is going to be 1 plus r because it's parallel, right, uh, to the segment. So this is going to be 1 plus r. Awesome. Now, I have everything I need. I can go ahead and write down my equation. And what is my equation going to look like? I'm going to be uh, adding the squares of the legs, and that's going to equal the square of the hypotenuse. Okay, so what I have here is I have 1 plus r squared, okay, 1 plus r squared plus h plus r squared, don't forget the h and the r, equals the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, as you know, is 5 minus r because we had to take out the radius from there, and so that's going to be 5 minus r squared. Beautiful. Now, what I have is actually real nice because uh, I do know the value of h and then I can just go ahead and plug it in. But let's go ahead and isolate the h first. If I isolate h, I'm getting uh, this squared minus this squared. So it's basically I'm getting a difference of two squared, which you don't have to do that way. I can just go ahead and expand it. But let's go ahead and write down uh, what h is. It's 2 root 6 minus 2. So that's going to be plus r squared, right? And then this is going to equal 25 minus 10r plus r squared 
minus 1 minus 2r minus r squared. Everything in the second parentheses is going to be negated because of the minus sign. Now, let's go ahead and treat this as a single term and expand this. So this is going to look like 2 root 6 minus 2 squared. Let's leave it like that for now. Plus, I'm going to double this so it's going to be 4 root 6 minus 4 and then multiply that by r plus r squared. Beautiful. Now, r squared cancels out here, leaving us with 24 minus 12r. Awesome. Now, we, we are getting a quadratic here. Let's go ahead and solve for r. That's the goal, right? We're trying to find the radius. So let's go ahead and arrange these terms a little bit, r squared plus. So I'm going to bring over a positive 12r here. That's going to be adding 12 to the negative 4. So that should make it 4 root 6 plus 8 multiplied by r. And then I do have this constant here, which is still not simplified. And then I'll subtract the 24 from it and everything equals zero. Beautiful. Now we can arrange this a little bit more by expanding some terms here and then solving this quadratic. All right, let's see what we can do. I'm going to expand this now. That's going to look like 24, right? 2 root 6 squared minus, if you multiply these and double the answer, you're going to get 8 root 6 plus 4, and then I got minus 24, and the whole thing equals 0. Beautiful. Now, the 24 cancels out, and what am I getting from here? r squared plus 4 root 6 plus 8 multiplied by r plus 4 minus 8 root 6 equals 0. So, there's some something interesting here that got my attention, actually. If you look at it carefully, we have 4 root 6 here and 8, and we have 8 root 6 here and 4. Of course, there's a minus sign, but I kind of find that interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this quadratic. And obviously, the constant term is negative. You know that, right? So the product of the roots by Vieta is negative, which means I have a negative root, which I'm going to ignore. Okay, r is equal to negative b. You have to negate this whole thing. Plus square root of b squared. So that's going to be our giant radical expression, minus 4ac. Now here, a is 1, so I can ignore that too. And this is all over 2 times a, which is 2. Awesome. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to expand inside the radical and simplify the whole thing as much as we can. Okay, how do you square this? 4 root 6, okay? 16 times 6, that's going to be 96. Plus 4 times 8 is 32, double that, 64 root 6, right? Plus 6, 8 squared is going to be 64, minus 16, plus 32, root 6. Beautiful. Then the whole thing is divided by 2. Hopefully, we can simplify this and get a nicer expression from here, right? Okay, minus 8, plus. Now, inside the radical, let's do some simplification. Okay, 64 minus 16 is equal to 48. 96 plus 48 is equal to what? 144. That's nice. I like that. 64 root 6 plus 32 root 6 is going to make 96 root 6. That's also good. Not super good, but that's okay. Divide by 2. Now, let's go ahead and simplify this. How do we simplify that? Well, what I can do is I can take out a perfect square, uh, like finding something that would, uh, that's, a lar uh, that's as large as possible, right? So that, uh, you know, I can simplify this as much as I can. Well, um... Uh, what I notice is that 144 is a perfect square, but it also contains two perfect squares, which is perfect. So 144 can be written as 16 times 9, and 96 is 16 times 6. Beautiful. I can take out a 16, which is going to be 4 when square rooted. And inside the radical, since I divided both of these guys by 16, I should be getting 9 plus 6 root 6. Right? Okay. Over 2. We're almost there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and divide everything by 2. That's going to be smooth. And I want to write this radical first because I kind of like that. 2 times the square root of 9 plus 6 root 6. Okay, that, because that's a positive term. That's why. Minus 4 root 6 divided by 2, of course, right? Let's not forget that. And that's going to be minus 2 root 6 minus 4. All right? So basically, that's going to be my answer, the radius of the blue circle that I've been looking for. Let's go back to the picture, and you can kind of check 
that it checks because you can tell from the picture that how was I able to draw this in Desmos, right? If the calculations were not correct. Otherwise, they would not be looking nice like this. Okay, this is the answer. Well, thank you for watching. This is the radius of our blue circle. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know. Comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.